So we reach Thursday and it's third evening uh, after one hour and a half drive back from my work and it's about time to record again my day worth sharing with everyone one thing that I achieved, one thing that I learned and one thing that I find out that I need to fix um, and um, I'm doing it every day. It requires some thinking effort but it was the, worth the effort. I really, really, really strongly encourage you to do it for yourself. But if you decide to share it for some reason, share it with me so I can see it as well. So uh, let's go back to uh, today achievement, another big one. Uh, so the first tweet uh, of galaxies, I didn't tweet it. <laughs> so the first tweet of galaxies, uh, and um, this is. Um, uh, exciting, exciting for us because we are starting to get more and more momentum. Um, so, small achievement. Uh, what I learned today. Um, so, the idea of uh, sudden changes. Uh, you know, um, when you are creating a, a pile of uh, sand and you are very uh, slowly letting the sand, uh, like a sea sand, and dropping from your hand and creating like kind of a structure uh, and in some point of time even one pile one piece of sand that will fall on top of it will uh, cause like a cascade folding kind of an avalanche uh, of the sand and this is pretty uh, uh, interesting phenomena because it happened in companies all the time and if you're aware of it, and if you're paying attention for it, you can prevent it from happening to you. You just need to be aware that those sudden changes happen, and um, they're not starting. It's not like a one change that happened, suddenly everything changed. It's a very slow process of changes, that the change that you think is the one that created it, is actually the one that just generate it but it's a very slow process of changes and being aware of that is uh, crucial and if you have the right um, uh, feedback loops within your organization and outside of your organization to get the right feedbacks and you're listening to those feedbacks you will prevent it but if not the world is full with examples of uh, companies that um, didn't pay attention um, majority of the Fortune 500, like 80% that disappeared. Majority of the 80%, 500 companies disappeared in the last 100 years are actually subject to um, sudden effect that they didn't pay attention to. So that's what I learned today. Uh, and last but not least, one uh, thing that I uh, um, find out that I need to fix and uh, it's in my brain for a long time, but I think it's about time to do something about it. So, um, if you want to run organization um, in a different structure, and forget right for, for a second, high, uh, non hierarchy, but non in a regular structure that you find for C corporate, which is a must, it's defined. You have to have board of directors and you have to elect um, executive that will, uh, directors that will run the company. If you want to do it differently, but you still want to enjoy the opportunity of raising funds by um, um, selling stock, you can't do it, so you're stuck. Uh, it's all you are very rigid and you have the ability to get uh, um, easy, easy money by selling stock, stocks, or you have a very agile structure, but uh, you have difficulties uh, to get um, oxygen or fuel into your system. So I think this is something that needs to be changed. It needs to be uh, a new structure that enables both worlds to coexist. Uh, so that's the first little thing that I think needs to be fixed. The second one is uh, hiring. Uh, well, let's uh, put hiring uh, to the end. So the second one is uh, exempt and non-exempt hourly people. So most of them the, the way the, the workforce and the future of organization going through a model where you can contribute as many hours that you want 
but you are actually very um, specialized uh, forces and you need to be compensated per your need and people doesn't see very well the uh, compensation of an hourly base this is something that was very uh, appropriate for the past but kind of challenging now and for the future so people are looking for kind of a more uh, compensation based on um, I don't know the contribution that you are uh, bringing to the company and it might be two hours work it might be uh, 60 hours it might be uh, 120 I'm just exaggerating um, but uh, the idea is that uh, we need to enable it but if you try to enable it today uh, the law will uh, chop your hand pretty fast um, I forgot the name of the act but uh, to enforce you uh, to pay people hourly if uh, they're working hourly uh, if they are uh, they're exempt or non-exempt um, I'm simplifying it a little bit but there's a problem that there needs to be addressed in order to support the future need of organization and last but not least is, is, is recruiting or hiring in, today we have the technology to walk people through questionnaires and let algorithm to decide whether they are a fit or not a fit for the organization and um, I think that the other research that proved that the decision of those robots are much better than the decision of humans because there are no bias involved in this process when I am interviewing someone with all my good intent I am on biases uh, but the robot doesn't have any bias but if you try to uh, use such a system again you're going to um, uh, any HR consultant or legal will give you a very uh, firm advice don't do it. Why? Because the law is not on your side. So this is again another area when, uh, where I, I build, truly believe that a change is needed. So um, that's why I need to change. I need to work with other people to find a way how to change those three legal issues uh, and I got the feeling that I am aware of three and other people are aware of uh, completely another set of three. So it feels that uh, there, is a, there is a limitation right now, there is a gap, let's put it that way, between what the future of organization goes yeah, and where the law exists. And uh, we need to fill this gap, otherwise we find ourselves in a, in a problematic situation. So that's all for today. One thing that uh, I, I achieved, one thing that I learned, and one thing that I find out that uh, I need to fix. And uh, tomorrow is Friday. Do my best to record it uh, end of Friday or Saturday or Sunday. Um, but if not, uh, I'll see you. Uh, I'll record another one uh, Monday evening. And up until then, as always, bye.